The grading planning tool is designed to be a working document for teachers to use as they plan their instruction and their grading of a unit. This is a sample of the grading planning tool for the 6.1 light and matter unit. So you'll see that the table below is pre-populated with assessments that are built into the unit and they're called out in the overall unit assessment table. So before we look through this graded planning, grading planning tool, let's look at where these assessments can be found in the assessment system. So in the unit overview materials, this larger document, this unit overview materials, you'll find the assessment system overview. So it goes into detail about the assessment system that's part of every unit that offers opportunities for pre-assessments, formative, summative, self-assessments. Uh, and there's two tables. This first table of the overall unit assessments is what is used to pre-populate the graded grading planning tool. So this overall unit assessment table includes where the assessment is, what it is, and then gives a lot of information about its purpose, when to check for understanding, what to look or listen for. Um, it can also give you examples of what to do if students struggle. So this is a very um, comprehensive document. And the grading planning tool simply takes those existing unit assessments that are called out and puts them into a, a table that you can use or you can modify as needed. So in this table, you'll see the lesson. There's eight lessons in 6.1, the unit assessments that are called out for each lesson and the assessment type. And then there's additional columns that might be helpful as you think through what you're going to assess and what you're going to use as a grade in a grade book. So there's a column to note just yes or no if you're used for grading, category, if that's something you need in your grade book, a point value, if that's the case, and then room for notes. And in the notes, you'll also see that in the notes, if there is a specific rubric or scoring guidance, these are for the two summative assessments in this unit, those are called out in the notes as well. So this is really designed to be a document that you can make work for you. So these columns, you can add columns. If there's additional things you would want to note, you can delete columns if these aren't useful to you. Um, and then you can also add rows to the table to capture any additional assessment moments you might plan to use for your grade book. So for example, in lesson one, there's two different pre-assessments where we're getting ideas of what students are thinking as they first explore the phenomenon. There's an initial diagram and the driving question board. Because they're pre-assessments, I'm likely not going to use them as a grade, but I might within that same lesson choose to use something else and put it in my grade book. So I would just add a row to that table and then I can list whatever my additional assessment might be um, and put in what I would use it for in my specific grade book. So this is really designed to be something that you can edit, modify, change as needed. Uh, it's just pre-populated with those assessments that are already called out in the overall unit assessment table.